today I'm gonna show you how to control any garage door with any cell phone. So, how does it work? First we have our 5 volt power supply powering all these chips. If I call cell phone B and I hold number 3, the DTMF will output this number as its binary form. The DMOX will then transform the input into a pin location. So pin 3 of the DMOX will trigger on. Same shit if I hold number 4 or number 5. If I press on number 1 we could power on a motor. And pressing number 2 will make the motor spin backward. I'm using the motor to open my garage door. So let's start, make sure you will have all of these. Connect the red wire to pin 1 of the regulator. Place a 0.1 microfarad capacitor between pin 1 and 2. Pin 3 is our 5 volt output. Ground pin 2. Place a female speaker jack and ground the longest pin. Connect a 0.1 microfarad capacitor to any pin of the female jack. Then place in series a 100K to pin 2 of the DTMF chip. Relate pin 2 and 3 with a 100K. Connect pin 1 and 4 together. Pin 5 and 6 are grounded. Place a 22 picofarad between pin 7 and 6 and a 22 picofarad between pin 8 and 9. Ground pin 9. Place the crystal between pin 7 and 8. Power pin 18 to our 5 volt. Relate pin 17 and 18 with a 0.1 microfarad cap. And relate pin 17 and 16 with a 300k. Place an LED between pin 14 and 5 volt. Ground pin 10. Connect pin 15 to the middle of A2 and 2222 using a 20k. Plug a 9 volt battery and a cell phone. Each number you press should turn off the LED. Ground the emitter. Relay the collector to 5 volt using a 10K. Wire the collector to pin 19 of the demultiplexer. Relay pin 18 and 19 together. Connect to 5 volt pin 24. Ground pin 12. Now from the DTMF to the demodulator, connect. Pin 11 to 23. Pin 12 to 22. Pin 13 to 21. And pin 14 to 20. Place the aged bridge. Pin 1 is grounded. Pin 4 is connected to the regulator's pin 1. Connect pin 5 to the Deamox's pin 2 and pin 7 to the Deamox's pin 3. Relate to 5 volt pin 6, ground pin 8 and pin 9 to 5 volt. You can now use pin 2 and 3 to connect a motor. Make sure everything is working properly. Your cell phones number 1 and 2 control your motor. Remove the green LED.
Thanks to my friend Samuel helping me do this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give us a like and as always, subscribe for more.